So when we want to evaluate the limits, um, we're looking at as x is approaching 5. So again, the top values is x, right? And that's what we're looking. And again, for the limit to exist, we want to see what is it approaching from the left and from the right. So as x is getting closer and closer to 5, we know 5 is right here, right? It's not in the table, but we know it's there. And we want to see what the graph is approaching here from the, from the right-hand side. Right? And we want to look at the values that we see it's approaching. And I, and I can tell you guys, it's going to be like an estimate you know, of some sort, because we don't know what exactly the value is. But can we make a kind of good consensus on what we think the value is as it? You can see these numbers are getting larger and larger. And then here, the numbers are getting smaller and smaller. And it looks like they're getting really, really close to 3. Right? It's kind of obvious. Over here, though, kind of throws you a little curve, because we know what the value of 6 is. The 6 is in the table, 7.2. However, remember, what is, the limit is not saying what the value is. The limit is saying what is the function approaching. So as x gets closer and closer to 6 from the left and from the right, what y value, 0 0.8, 0 0.99, 0.99, looks like this is getting really close, not really to 7.2, though. And from the right, it's getting really, really close to a number. What number does it look like it's getting really, really close to? 1. Okay, So even though the function is evaluated at 6, it's approaching 1. And that's what we're looking for when we're looking at the limit, is what is it approaching from the left and from the right. Does that make sense? Okay. All right.